the challenger and former champion who's moved up in weight, now feels comfortable at this weight. And we get you underway here, round one. Karan Bhatia on the call, joined by former world champion Chris Algieri. Takuma Inoue, the champion in the white and black trunks. Jerwin Ancajas, a challenger in the red and white trunks. And as we mentioned, Ancajas is moving up in weight, yet he looks like the bigger man. He's got he's taller, he's got a longer reach, and he's filled in nicely up in the lane. He goes to the bigger guy. There's that nice footwork from Inoue, very explosive as he closes the gap. Very nice in and out movement on display here. Nice right hand there landed for Inoue. Good counter punching ability on display. And yeah. we mentioned Ankaha's moving up in weight. He, he felt like he was sucked down at 115 pounds, wanted to make a change. And according to their camp, he feels much more comfortable at this weight class. Yeah, physically, he looks stronger. He looks fuller. Notice in a way, we've got a Salpa and Ankahas, Orthodox and Takuma. And Takuma doing a great job controlling the center of the ring. Very good move against the Salpa, who's going to be on the outside. Trying to score with those left hands, but in a way, giving a lot of good head movement and staying in control of that center of the ring. Takuma in a way, a very measured and careful approach here in, in round one. Standing his ground, using the jab and his left hand as, as that range finder so far in this round one. Yeah, Kajas, a little bit twitchy, explosive. Looking to land those big shots. He's throwing the jab down low, the left hand up high. But so far, in a way, has been very adept at just getting out of the way of those left hands. We've seen Ankahas unload with the left hand two or three times here in round one. And it seems like Takuma Inoue's game plan is to stay back and counter, Chris. Yeah, he, he's getting his head off line and coming right back with two, three punches at a time, which is good. He's not a big puncher, but he does have explosiveness and physical strength. That combined with a good engine is how Inoue tends to take his opponents deep and try and drown them. And we saw it again there a moment ago. Left hand by Ankaha just misses and then Takuma Inoue. Super solid, but well placed, good timing. Hit it well behind that jet. Round two underway from our WBA championship fight, our main event here from the Ryo Goku Arena, the national sumo arena in Tokyo, Japan. And right away, again, we see Jerwin Ankahas pick up where he left off and try to land that big left hand. Yeah, but anyway, showing really nice, smooth head movement and upper body rhythm. Also, he's got that great first step. He's very explosive off that step, whether in or out. Closing that distance very explosively there. But still coming up short with the punches. And we mentioned Takuma Inoue has been boxing since he was four years old. And if you look at him now, there's, there's definitely a focus there, right? A, a concentration. And that's something that you develop, muscle memory that you develop throughout the years. Anyways, looking to land that check left hook over the top as Akahas throws the straight left hand. It's a good move, but it's a dangerous one because it does put your head on the line for that left hook. You got to make sure that you're dipping your head nicely to get that left hook over the top. And so far, we're seeing both men positioning and trying to land that, that backhand, the left hand for Ankahas, the right hand for Inoue. Both men trying to set that up. There's the dip left hook again from Inoue. Just coming up short. I do like that upper body rhythm and movement 
that Inouye is using. His defense is sharp. He just hasn't been able to put his hands together to be offensive against Ankahas yet. Coming up on 45 seconds to go in round two. It's been a tactical fight so far, a battle of positioning and counter punching from both Inoue and Ankahas. Good body work there from Ankahas. Got tied up a little bit upstairs, but let loose with both hands to the body of Inoue. Yeah, both guys tentative here in round two. Nobody wants to make a mistake. Very, very tactical battle here early on. Very tactical, a very even matchup so far in our championship fight here. To reach this point. It's a common story from a lot of fighters from the Philippines. You know, it's, it's uh, nobody's coming from means who, who come out of the Philippines looking the box. I mean, look at Manny Pacquiao, the great, the legend, Manny Pacquiao. And a lot of fighters follow in his footsteps because of that. is frantic when he gets close enough to Inoue, but hasn't been able to put any hands on him yet. We saw Takuma Inoue open up there a little bit more, not waiting on Akahas, but instead starting his own offense. Inoue is very subtle with the shots that he lands. He landed a nice jab over the top as Akahas came in. Changes levels nicely, gets his head offline. Fundamentally, very, very sound work from Takuma so far. And we've been speaking about it tonight, Chris. So Takuma doesn't necessarily have the same power as his older brother, Nooya, in a way. So that means you have to do other things in the ring. And we're seeing that here tonight. A, care, a careful, measured approach, good counter punching, being slick, good head movement. And we're seeing those things from Takuma, Takuma in a way. Yeah, I mean, he, he does a lot of things really well. I think he actually does every aspect of the sport really well. He's just not a puncher like his brother. His brother does these well also. He just doesn't need to do it as much because he's got such lights out power. But Takuma is very, very well schooled. And you can see that, very well conditioned, good footwork, good head movement, counters at the right time, places his punches well. Oh, nice. Counter Big right, right hand, hand there, rocked Ancajas, and another by Inoue. Beautifully timed shot as Ancajas came in, and then nice follow up as well. Oh, there's that check hook I was talking about. That left hook over the top as Ancajas lets go with that left hand. Takuma in a way, seemingly finding his timing at the end of round three. Two right hands landed, and then a left hand that definitely caught the attention of German Ancajas. Ooh. Big right hand there for in a way. That rocked Ancajas. Didn't see the punch coming. Yeah, you see the formula for, for Takuma, they, what, what their game plan was. Counter straight at hands, left hooks over the top. Be deceptive on your offense on the way in. Good defense, make Ankahas reach and make him pay. Punches, you know, he was missing early on because of that very quick head movement, upper body rhythm that Takuma was showing. And then Ankahas was starting to get over that front foot and that's why he ran into that shot. Also, that's why the shot hurt him. If you head on collision, you're going to get hit harder, even if the guy's not a big puncher. Round four underway in our WBA Bantamweight Championship fight. Takuma Inoue looking to build off of the momentum in round three. And notice the battle of the footwork. Takuma Inoue consistently is the man with the, with the lead foot on the outside. That's where you want to be against the southpaw. Win that lead foot battle. And Takuma is... is, is usually the one who has that foot on the outside. So consistently, he's winning that exchange. Watch your hands. Beautiful combinations there on the inside from Inoue. 
And it seems like, at least so far, Chris, Inoue may have the speed advantage. Oh, absolutely, definitely. Uh, Akash looks to be lumbering forward. He's not closing the distance with any kind of explosiveness. And even when he does get inside, he seems to freeze a bit. One, because of the good head movement of uh, Takuma, but also the hand speed, like you mentioned. Big swing and a miss from Ankajas. Beautiful right uppercuts on the inside for Inoue. And, and you mentioned it moments ago, Inoue threw and then was able to get out of range. Yeah, Ankajas is just too slow with his feet. And more and more you're seeing Takuma be more comfortable on the inside as he's realizing the speed differential. Both fighters trading oh. body shots. The right hand gets through. Mm, a lot of well-schooled Japanese fighters that are not forgetting the body. But I would assume that Shingo, his trainer, and father was telling him something similar. We'll see if Inoue makes adjustments here and fights at the distance he was having success at in the first three rounds. I mean, he's got such phenomenal footwork he's able to explode in and out and making Akahas reach and run into counter punches. He was doing that really well in round three, but round four chose to stay on the inside and exchange with Akahas. He got hit with some big punches himself. And there was a great quick combination by Inoue and then moved out of the way, out of range from Akahas. And we've been seeing that a lot tonight. Akahas coming up short with some of these counter punches. And Inoue is very good at letting his hands go and then slip sliding his way out, just like this. Putting it all together. And if you look at the movement of Inoue, I mean, this is very different than round four. So I'm guessing that was the instructions from his father and trainer Shingo, is use your movement, because we're not seeing the same Inoue that we saw just a round ago. Yeah, from what I've seen from the, the training of Shingo, he really does train hit and don't be hit. No reason to stand in there and trade with a guy, especially if you're getting touched up and he's bigger. Takuma has the obvious speed advantage and the big clash of heads there. Halfway through this round five, Takuma Inoue, the champion, back to working at distance. We also have to give credit to Jerwin and Kahas for coming forward for working the body. There's a reason he defended his championship belt nine times. That just speaks to his toughness and his ability to make adjustments in fight. Now, a ton of experience, former champion, you know, moved up in weight, coming to, to challenge the champion in, in his home turf. Coming to bring it, wants to fight. They, you know, they finish up the rounds where they're exchanging. They're both smiling, going back to the corner. You got two warriors here in, in the ring tonight. Absolutely, and a massive right hand there got through for Takuma Inoue. And another, this time a shorter right hand to the head. Yeah, he's doing a great job fighting at this middle distance, picking off Ankahas, who's just too slow, too slow-footed, too obvious with what he's coming with offensively. And Takuma has the ability to make him miss and make him pay for it. Keep him up, but let's see if he can keep it up. Zankas is putting pressure, coming forward. And more and more, you see Takuma taking those moments to exchange and get, get flat-footed, which is Zankas' best chance. Round six here underway, the WBA championship taking place at the Rio Goku Koku Gikan Arena, the National Sumo Arena in Tokyo, Japan. Takuma Inoue in the white and black trunks. Jerwin Ankahas, the challenger in the red and white trunks. And right now we're seeing the fight play out at the distance that it seemed like Takuma Inoue was more comfortable 
at. So Chris, would you recommend German Akahas trying to close the distance like he did right there? I mean, he is, but the problem with that is that he overextends himself at times and runs into the counter shots, the sharp counter shots of Takuma. So he's got to close the distance. He's got to cut off the ring. He's got to slowly eke his way into position. He has the longer arms. He needs to use them. See, he, he's jabbing at the wrong distance. He's not closing the distance. He's not bringing his back foot up. So he's staying right at that middle range where the speed advantage of Inoue is obvious. Nice feint there from Takuma. Ooh, and that's the thing, the fundamentals of Takuma Inoue are fantastic. He's got the footwork, the in and out, the, the, the jabs, the counters. Now he's using feints. Two lightning fast right hands to the head of Ankahas by Inoue. Ankahas making an adjustment now, throwing that straight left hand to the body, and that's a smart move. Been having a lot of trouble getting to the head of Takuma all night long. Right, no punch. What else is important here, when, when at this range, in a way, it's not wasting energy wrestling with the bigger Ankahas. On the inside, you can see Ankahas is starting to use his will, his body weight, his size to grab and to lean on Takuma. But at that middle range, Takuma has more time to rest, he has more distance, He's not, he doesn't have to waste energy wrestling like this. Body shot from Akaz on the inside. Box out of there. Obey the bell. Seems like Akaz just needs to make this rough. Because he's getting picked apart on the outside. Round seven. Round seven underway here. Takuma Inoue. His first defense. The WBA Bantamweight Championship belt. A belt that was formerly held by his older brother, Naoya Inoue. Takuma's goal, he said, is to become undisputed in this weight class following the footsteps of his brother, Naoya. That's one thing about Takuma that he's shown in past fights. His conditioning is fantastic. Tends to come on strong late. Good body work there. And so far in round seven, it does seem like Ankahas is having more success trying to cut off the ring, Chris. Yeah, he's doing well closing the distance here. He's not just chasing in a way, in a way a little less slippery than he was a few rounds ago. And again, choosing to stand and fight and wrestle on the inside. This is this is beneficial for Ankahas. This is where he wants the fight to happen. You can just see the feet though, such a difference. Ankahas lumbers forward. Anyway, has those explosive step, steps in and out. We mentioned the battle for outside foot positioning. We know on Kahas, one thing he wants to do is get on the inside. Would you also recommend for him trying to get on the outside foot position? No, oh, absolutely, because you, you, you need to have your opponent between your feet so you can generate the most power. That's within your punching range. It's very difficult to punch with power outside of your foot. Foot positioning there, so you got to keep the man in between your feet. So now you're starting to see Ankaha stepping to that outside. You want to be at least head up with that front foot, if not all the way on the outside. Good exchanges here for Ankaha. He's getting the better of these. Both men trading hooks, working the body. Very competitive back and forth round seven. And, and Chris, this is what we're talking about. It seems to be more competitive when they're fighting at this close range, this phone booth type fight. Absolutely, I mean, it's more competitive, it's more compelling. I'm sure the people at home are enjoying it more. I mean, I like the stuff from the outside and all the, the, the high boxing IQ that Inouye is showing, but this is fun too. Yeah. 
And so there has to be a reason that Takuma Inoue is choosing to fight like that. And that probably is that even though he's getting hit with Ankahas, he feels like he's getting the better of it on the inside. It could be fatiguing too. Moving around the ring is very tiring. Being explosive like that, being on, on point is very, very, very difficult. It saps a lot of your... He can absorb no. those punches, right? He's not necessarily shying away not at all. from that. Yeah, he um, he's not taking the shots full on. He has the ability to roll with them, get a little shoulder up, get a glove up. Good counters there. You can see the beginning of every round, he starts out moving. But like the tide, and Kaz just keeps coming forward, keeps pressing. You hear the corner of Ankaha say, walk him down. <laughs> That's exactly what he's trying to do. Yeah, it seems to me like the Ankaha's game plan is the long game. Keep walking him down, break him down, get him tired, make him stand in front of you and then damage him as much as you can down the stretch. Quick combination there from Inoue. And as we've been speaking about, he started the round boxing and moving, then ended up on the inside. It's happening more and more as the rounds go on. So, Chris, to your point, it could be partially fatigue. It could be partially feeling like he can absorb these punches or a combination of both. Yeah, I'm thinking more and more that it's fatigue and, and uh, uh, a little lapses in discipline. Because he is getting hit and some of these look like they're heavy shots. Takuma doesn't seem like he's being affected by them just yet, but listen, in terms of scoring, very dangerous to let your opponent get off like this. A big left hook there, landed for Inoue. Definitely had an effect on Ankahas, maybe slowed him down a hair in this round eight. Yeah, except for this body work from Ankahas, and then slow down Takuma. He's, he's doing really nice, consistent work here. This is one of the better salvos that he's had. See, see how, see how Takuma rolls with that shot? He doesn't take the punches, especially to the head, very cleanly. He has nice little deftly quick rolls and slides and gets his hands in position. The body work is a different story though. Akas has been beating the body on both sides. And it looks like the punch is affecting you when you roll with it because you turn your head, but you're actually making it less effective. Right, yeah, yeah, that's what, that's what I mean. He's not taking the full brunt of the force, but those body punches, though, like I had mentioned in, in previous fights, even the ones that land on your elbows and your arms, they affect you. You feel those. You absorb them in your body. So even though they aren't scoring blows, they're still having an effect. Absolutely. One of the better rounds for Ankahas in terms of landing. I mean, he does everything right. It's, it's textbook boxing. It's just he has that big power. Oh, good combination there from the outside. 2-1-2 two, two over the top. Round nine for WBA Bantamweight Championship main event. Takuma Inoue has had success boxing and moving, but oh. seemingly ends like this, and a big right hand to the body drops on Kahas. He's hurt. That's it. And that's the end of 